Hey everyone, Captain Walnut here with a quick update on my high yield spawning system that can handle spiders. I have managed to cut the, my previous system, which was eight deep, down into four deep. The, uh, the original high efficiency spawners that Etho and Roboticos and those guys talk about is three blocks deep, so this is pretty good. Um, four blocks deep, you know, that's pretty good. Yeah, it works the exact same way as my original one did. Um, spiders would spawn there and get pushed out too. So let's look at the wiring real quick. The entire thing relies on this piston transistor, I guess you could call it. When it's activated, um, it pushes a block down. This redstone torch powers the block, which powers this repeater and the redstone next to it. Um, now the pistons above are powered on two different tracks. One, uh, the first track is here, the least delayed track. So the, p the first track to get activated would be this one. So it would come through here, get powered up, and this piston would get pushed out first. And then the piston there would become extended um, on top of this block here, um, which is powered by the torch underneath it. So then it gets, it gets extended too. Um, then everything, the second block to get activated, since there's two repeaters, would be this track right here. Uh, it comes up and powers both this piston and this piston. The reason we want to power both of these pistons is because we want this piston to retract after this piston. So after you, de after this power, this track is unpowered, this track is still powered. So therefore, this piston retracts first while this one's still extended. And then this track becomes unpowered, retracting this power piston. So that's how it works. Um, you can see it, the bare bones version right there. I'll go through and build a regular version real quick just so you guys can see it. So we want a torch there. That's what powers this whole thing. Um, a tiny bug in pre-release uh, six is that if I had a redstone here, it wouldn't power the block to the left or right of it if it's powered by a repeater. It's kind of annoying, but oh well. You can work around it. So, yeah. Then another torch, another block, then the redstone on top of it. And then a sticky piston to go here. Piston transistor. Uh, normally you're going to want to use stone pressure plates. I'm just using wood pressure plates so I can show you guys things using items. <clears throat> and then fill it up so that mobs can't spawn inside of it. And that's the central track. And then here's how you'd build the piston tracks. So you want a repeater, redstone, block. And then this one torch will power both the spider pushing piston and the piston that pushes that piston out. Um, and then this, these two can be filled so mobs don't spawn there, as well as here, here, and here. Um, and then you can go ahead and place both of those pistons and then fill everything in to make it look nice. Three tall so Endermen can spawn and cover up that redstone. And that's how you build it. All right, thanks for watching.